Mendy's headset measures your brain activity through a unique combination of features, including blood flow and oxygenation in the prefrontal cortex. Think of it as measuring fuel in your brain's control center. When you focus properly, oxygen and nutrients flow to your prefrontal cortex and the waves will rise. By rewarding you with positive feedback, the training conditions you to increase energy to your brain's control center. Mindy, my personal opinion, if it matters to you or not. We're gonna talk about the neurofeedback device called Mindy, uh, how it tracks uh, for meditation, focus, calmness, all that stuff. Does it work? Do I think it works? I'm not gonna dive into the science. I'm just gonna give you my personal uh, feedback for the device, what I think about it and so forth. You may care, you may not. Uh, it's up to you if you wanna spend the $300 to get uh, Mindy uh, and start using it. So my personal advice is, I don't think it's that great, right? Like it doesn't provide the subjective data to really let me know that I'm benefiting or not. If I spend the few minutes doing Mindy, do I feel a little bit more relaxed or calm or focused? Yeah, maybe, but if I just stare blankly at a screen for a few minutes, I could probably get the same benefits. Or if I do a visualization or training, I feel like I can get, you know, just the same benefits, if not more, if I dive into a guided meditation or a guided visualization, which I would prefer uh, listening to a guided visualization with a little hypnotic hypnotic trance, language and commands, all that stuff. I think that'd be more effective than just watching the ball move up or adjust or trying to get that ball to go up. Uh, over time, uh, playing that game with the ball or watching that ball just gets kind of boring and monotonous. It doesn't really, you know, it's like it gets old, right? They need to add more games. They need to add more things. I personally would like to see where I could wear this playing basketball or working out or doing something. And then it would actually give me feedback based off my brain activity instead of just showing my oxygen or uh, some of the other, my neuro, my feet, uh, neural activity um, and so forth and give me a score off that. I don't want to do it just to play that game or I have to start something. It'd be cool to be able to track things when I sleep or my day-to-day -day tasks to measure like, you know, do I have heightened focus? Do I get distracted? You know, where can I make improvements? Where can I make adjustments? That's what I'd like to see. I'd like to get subjective data based on my performance with work, performance with uh my performance and activities, sports, all that stuff. That's where I'd like to see this technology go so I can get that data to actually look at and make adjustments. Maybe it doesn't have enough sensors, uh, technology to track that. Obviously, you can see if there's more oxygen, all that stuff in your brain, more activity there, more neural activity in that ball while you're doing that training. But I'd like to see it done while I'm doing other activities as opposed to just wearing Mindy uh, or doing the training module in Mindy. Uh, maybe add some more games, uh, make it where you can move a bird up and down, pop balloons, you know, add a few more games to really create more engagement. But you know, at this point, Mindy, uh, just not, not a huge fan, wouldn't invest the $300 if you have it. I do some guided meditations or visualization exercises that'd be um you know better for you obviously people are going to have different opinions on this people are going to feel possibly that it does something they appreciate it they like it uh and that's fine uh you know i'd say the science behind it at best is not there to really prove that this thing is going to develop more neural pathways and make you improve on a, a regular basis uh, like I said, I want subjective data really help me grow. Instead, I, I get information that doesn't really make sense, doesn't really provide much feedback. So hopefully um, you can make your own decision based off this uh, personal opinion. By no means am I an expert on neural feedback or any stuff. It's just some random guy giving you information based off the Mindy uh, device that I purchased. I wasn't promoted to do this or any of that stuff. So you can decide if you want to do Mindy or not. It's worth a try. You might get tons of benefits by doing it. I had my kids wear it, all stuff. We all felt the same way. It was kind of cool to do once or twice, but it wouldn't, it didn't really give us the data to be like, oh, hey, this really made you improve on X. Or when you're not wearing Mindy, we could show you that it did this. Yeah. 
Does it make you more calm and focused and attentive after doing or while you're doing it? Sure, but I would say sitting there staring at a clock or like I said, listen to more of a guided meditation um, or a guided visualization exercise would be just as beneficial, if not more, uh, at the moment. And you don't need a device for that or to spend $300. I'll add a video where I do a guided visualization for you guys all want that totally free. Uh, hopefully this uh, information was helpful if you're looking into the device. And hey, I'd love your feedback. If you love Mindy and you think of it, it's improved and I missed something because I have no clue what I'm talking about, uh, just in the comments below, feel free to let me know. I always appreciate uh, learning more and, and growing on that aspect. Take care and, and I wish you guys all the best. And you know, it's up to you if you want to get Mindy or not, because you think it's beneficial. All right, take care.